Hello, hello. What is going on, guys? Game Taco for the win here. So, uh, my apologies in advance for the lack of videos in the past few days and the lack of Monster Hunter videos in the upcoming days because I accidentally left my copy of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate at my parents' house when I went to visit them over the weekend. So, there won't be any Monster Hunter uh, videos for a, f a few days, but I'm here with a new game and it's called Tank Tank Tank. Now, this is a uh, free to play game, well, a game that has taken the free-to-play model and uh, basically adapted it to the Nintendo eShop. So you buy this base game, which is free, and then you can buy bits and pieces to expand the game. So I'm just going to take you through a little bit of it, and uh, you could get an idea for what the game's like, and if you want to try it out and spend your uh, very valuable time downloading this uh, game. It's about a gig and a half, I believe it is. So let's go ahead and um, go start the game here tank, tank, tank. so a lovely title screen as you can see uh, let's go and also you if you download it for free from the eShop you can only play it up to three times a day with the basic pack uh, as you can see it says purchase additional contents from the eShop uh, yeah you know so uh, you can see my lovely little picture there I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, pick that so the first thing that I usually do is I'm like oh well I just got this game uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into the story missions. I'm going to be one player. And uh, I have to select a pitcher for the support tank. Okay. Hello, that is me. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. I'm going to go with the lion. That's pretty cool, right? So that's the support tank. I guess uh, that's one of, my, one of the people that helped me. But soon you'll see that it doesn't really matter because I'm like okay well there's the first mission I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and then I pick my tank and then I go to deploy and it goes oh well you don't own that you have to buy it from the eShop that's terrible it doesn't even have like the um, the first story mission so it's just kind of like counterintuitive in my opinion at least uh, so the only thing that we could play is the multiplayer um, you can play with four people, but there's only one of me right here, so we're going to go ahead and do this monster battle thing. Uh, the city is the only one that I have right now. You can fight central bots and a griffin, a bee bots and a kraken, or the spiders and a red dragon. So let's go ahead and do that. And I have to take another picture. Okay. Um, what do I want to be? Oh, these are... Hey, look, a snail. That's pretty funny. I'm going to go ahead and be the snail. That's a terrible picture, but I don't even care. So, um, as you can see, the controls are very simple. And this is actually a very simple game. I'll show you in a second. But basically, you could use the analog stick to move, and the A button is attack. That's it. Um, you can't change like the angle of your, uh, your cannon at all. It just kind of auto-aims, which is really kind of annoying because, I don't know, it, it just seems so simple. It's it's like it's made for, like, five-year-olds. Oh, look at, the, look at this team. I got two dogs and a cat. That's absolutely wonderful. And we are destroying these buildings like nothing's... Okay, let's go ahead and shoot these spiders. That guy has a minigun. Look at that. Man, so uh, the, com the computers are actually extremely, sh like, good at this. Like, I'm terrible at this, I'm not going to lie, but the computers are just like, I don't know. They, like, usually always get way more kills than me in this. So I picked up a machine gun. It's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, I still can't aim it at anything. It's all like this auto-aim bullshit, which I, I'm not a fan of. And... It kind of sucks that the area is so small, too. And all the buildings in it just got immediately destroyed. Not really surprised with four tanks running around shooting stuff. But, I don't know. It just seems kind of small. 30 guys left. Let's go. Ouch. Oh, I don't know what I'm shooting at. The turning speed is really slow, too. I wonder if you could adjust that. And then finish this up, and we can show you the red dragon. I don't even know what I'm shooting at. That's it. The red 
My, there's just various domestic animals driving these tanks around. Hey, I got MVP. Imagine that. Usually that never happens. Only got a silver though. Oh well. So the next is like the big boss battle. So this is a red dragon. It reminds me of Godzilla or something that Godzilla would fight, I guess. Well, come on, let's go. Continue. A giant monster is there we go. It may be heading for the city. Mobilize immediately. Bring it down. Join forces and defeat the red dragon. Oh. Oh, I just destroyed some sort of factory. Oops. So we're just gonna shoot this red dragon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I got seized by the enemy and I'm being eaten. Come on. Come on, commuter teammates. Help me out. He ate me. See, the thing I don't like about this is that, you know, if, if your teammate gets eaten, you can't, like, focus directly on one head. You just, you, like, the auto-aim takes over. So... I don't know, it's just kind of, I don't know, terrible, I guess. Like, I can't, it's hard for me to attack, like, the the head that's uh, eating my teammates, so, like, I can't really do anything. It's like, why would they put this game on a, a console that has two analog sticks? Two wonderfully, uh, wonderful analog sticks, yet it, it refuses to take advantage of them. It's like, why didn't they put it on the 3DS or something? It probably would have been better on the 3DS. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm probably not going to win this. Last time I played this, it had 0.1% health left. And we failed. Because we ran out of time. 30 seconds left. Probably not going to win this time either. I need a missile rack. Here we go. Missile rack ready. Oh, ow, ow, ow. What is, what are these evil sh flying sharks? Oh, well, we're boned. <laughs> Give me that missile rack. 5%. Oh, god damn it. Kill it, kill it. Ah, time's up. The exact same thing happened. Probably like 0.5% health left. It doesn't have any hands. How is it still alive? 1.1% left. That's like another one hit. Half of a hit, probably. I did terrible that time. I only did 18% damage. So the Chihuahua got first place with 33%. I guess snails aren't up to snuff. So we're going to go ahead and... Get, how do I get out of this? I'm pressing all the buttons. Nothing's happening. Come on. I guess I'll show you the free-for-all, because that's like the only other thing I can. I could do team, but I'm a bigger fan of free-for-all. I have no more credits available. Oh, well, I guess I can't show you the free-for-all then, because I already played this too many times today. Well, this is uh, Tank 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 on the, the Nintendo Wii U. Uh, as you can see, this is a free-to-play game. It's based on a free-to-play model that restricts how much you could play. Uh, you have to buy content. I think you can buy any piece of content, and it'll it'll get rid of the restrictions. Uh, I think it ranges from between like four and eight dollars or something for stuff you could unlock and play. But um, you know, overall, my just general thoughts is like, is like this is just too simple. It's too. Uh, I don't know, like, one-dimensional, I guess. Like, you can't... The thing that really kills it for me is the auto-aim. Uh, you know, I'd rather be able to control, like... I'd rather be able to strafe and control where my where I'm actually hitting instead of, like, the auto-aim taking over and just shooting, like, whatever. But uh, it's kind of simple. If I really would feel bad for anybody who bought this at full price when the Wii U launched, because I believe this was a launch title. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But, yeah, it's just kind of... I don't know. It's very simple. It's definitely not worth $60. Oh, man. I'm going to change my picture real fast. I'm going to see what else is uh, in here. I really like the animal ones. These are all... <laughs> what a frog? That's funny. And this is taking a picture through the gamepad. Little camera on that. In case you didn't know, 
<laughs> I'm gonna be a convict. Ugh, that is terrible looking. These are all very, very corny. I do like the gorilla. I think that one's funny. I think I'll go with the gorilla. Yeah, that's better. Total playtime, 42 minutes. I played 22 minutes in multiplayer. This is over like three days, I guess. So anyway, this is Tank Tank Tank, and that's all I'm going to uh, be talking about it through this little uh, Let's Play impromptu review, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But uh, this is Game Taco for the win. So if you like this video, if you thought it was uh, funny or enjoyable or informative or whatever, if it influenced your decision in buying this wonderful game, please feel free to support me and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave your thoughts below. I will reply to pretty much every comment if you have something to say or have something to ask me. Uh, but I guess that's everything, so I will uh, talk to you guys later. Have a good one, guys. Peace.